So, what blows my mind about the American legal system is this. It is based off of intellectual dishonesty. Uh, it's obvious that when you go to law school, they don't focus on logic. Because if they did, I don't see how you could be a lawyer and go through those motions. Just to break it down, precedent is just a slippery slope fallacy. A slippery slope fallacy, for people who don't remember, is when you assume that because something is similar to something that happened in the past, and it just goes straight from there without any logic behind it. And that's what they do. I mean, look at this latest ruling that the Supreme Court put out where they use the, the justifications of 17th century witch hunts. It's insanity like that. And then you have the argument from power, which is another fallacy, which they call jurisprudence. You know, the idea that when you come to a courtroom, the, there are strict rules about how you have to talk to and treat the lawyers and the judges and everyone there because of their position. And yet they ignore their duty on how to talk to people. If you want evidence of that, go and look at my video on my hearing in front of Judge Kirby where the first thing out of his mouth to me is that he assumes that men like me don't work out of spite and that I somehow have to overcome that to him. If there's not a more clear definition of bias, I don't know what there is. He admitted his own bias right off the bat. But I'm not allowed to go in there and give him the finger, which is exactly what he deserves. And if you don't believe me, wait until your kid tries to commit suicide and then come and talk to me. And then we follow it up with the biggest intellectually dishonest logical fallacy of them all, the enormous number of red herrings that are, in, are encased in case law. You know, the, the books that you see in lawyer's office where they're always going back and looking through it. Just because you can pick out one little detail from the past and say, oh, look, that's the reason why. That's not logic. That's not reasonable. That's intellectual dishonesty. It's about time that we just told them off and told them what it is. It's intellectually dishonest, it's pathetic, and we need a new way of doing our government.